In today's video, I'll teach you how to make this presentation using PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365, so let's get started. Let's start by changing the background color of the slide. So right click on the slide, click on Format Background and select the color black. I found this image online, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it into the slide. And I'll zoom out so we can see a little bit better but I'm going to change the crop of the image. So go to picture format, click on crop. I'm going to make the image larger and then I'm just going to move it around. And the goal is to have like three quarters of the image showing and having the last quarter hidden at the bottom. So something like this will work. Now we're going to right click on the image and click on format picture. Let's click on the image icon right here and increase the transparency to 70%. It's time to add some text boxes. So go to insert text box and I'm just going to start writing the title of my presentation. So let's center align the text and change the color to white. And I'm going to use a font that I downloaded online called Felix Titling. I'll increase the size using this button right here. And I'm just going to start writing my text. To increase the spacing of the characters, just click on this icon right here, go to character spacing and here let's select expanded and change the value to 10 and click on OK. And holding control on your keyboard and dragging the text down, you can duplicate it. So now it's easier to just replace the rest of your text. Once you have the title set up on your first slide, I'll go back to Google Images and look for a cloud PNG. In the results, if you see an image with a solid background and when you click on it, it transforms into a checkerboard pattern, that means that that is an actual PNG with a transparent background because there's a lot of fake PNGs over there. So I'm just going to copy and paste it into the slide. I'll make it smaller and put it right here. Let's make some adjustments to this image. So I'll click on the image icon right here from format picture. And then I'm going to increase the transparency to something like 40%. Then let's click on the picture color panel and I'm just going to increase the temperature so it looks a little bit brownish. And I'll also increase the saturation slightly. Amazing. So now we can just duplicate that cloud holding control on our keyboard and dragging it to another position. I feel like the text could be blended a little bit better, so I'm just going to select it and change the color using the color panel. And I'm just going to pick like a light sand color that will make it truly cinematic. Let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D on your keyboard. And now we're going to zoom out so we can see everything a little bit better. And holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select the clouds and you're going to select the text boxes as well. And then drag everything up holding shift on your keyboard. I'll also give some space to these text boxes right here. So just select each of them and move them up a little bit to give a little bit more space. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing, so I'm just going to change the color to black in a second so you see exactly what I did. So this is the outcome that we're looking for. And now for the image, we're just going to scroll down so we can see the image and then we're going to select the image. Then go to picture format here at the top, click on crop and we're going to move it up so we can see that last quarter that we had hidden. So something like this. On this slide, I'm going to add some more text using a text box. And now we're going to copy this text with Ctrl C on our keyboard, go back to the previous slide and paste it with Ctrl V. And we're going to move it down to the gray area like this. So now if we go to the second slide, go to transitions and click on morph, we have this super awesome effect. For the timeline, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. The first one, which is the one that you saw at the beginning of the video is a pro one. And the second one is the basic one. So just stay with me and we'll start by changing the color of the slide to black. And again, using text boxes, we're going to add our text. I just added a date, the title of the event and a short description. Now I'm going to zoom out so we can see better what we're doing. 
and then holding shift on your keyboard you're going to select all the text boxes and holding control on your keyboard you're going to drag everything to the right to create a copy this will be our second date so i'm just going to quickly change the color to black so you can see exactly what i'm doing and here we're going to write the second event of our timeline which in this case is when rome becomes a republic so now we have two events showing up, one in the slide and the other one outside of the slide. Let's create the timeline by selecting a circle shape right here and insert it holding shift on your keyboard and putting it right here under the date. I'll select no outline and then I'll change the color of the field to white. Let's add a line by clicking on the line shape right here. And holding shift on your keyboard so it's a perfectly straight line you're gonna insert it from the first circle that we did and drag it all the way to the right let's change the color of the outline to white and let's also create a copy of the circle right here and put it under the second date let's copy an image i found this one online and i'm just gonna paste it into the slide right here with ctrl v and this will be the background for the first date. So I'm gonna make some changes. Go to the image icon right here and let's increase the transparency to something around 75. And now let's click on the shape icon right here and let's increase the soft edges option. This is looking amazing. So I'm just gonna right click on it and send it back. Awesome, so now we can duplicate this slide to the right. This will be the background for our second date. So now you can right click and send it back. And let's make sure that everything is aligned, just holding shift on your keyboard, select every single element, go to shape format and click on align to center. And now everything is centered within that image. And now we can easily replace the image by copying a different image. And now you can right click on the image, go to change picture and here let's select from clipboard. We're going to have to apply the same transparency effect as the other one, but I just want to make sure that it's the same size as the previous one. And just repeat the process for the transparency, click on the image, go to the image option from format picture and increase the transparency. After changing the color of the text to white, I'm just going to group the title and the description of each of the dates. Just select them holding shift on your keyboard, right click and click on group. And now we're going to move the second date to the left outside of the slide. So something like this. Now let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And here we're going to select these two dates holding shift on your keyboard and you're going to drag them to the left. So the second date will be on the center of the slide. And then we're going to select the two text boxes and move them to the right. Again, holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select both images and then move them to the left. And now we have all the information from the second date right in our second timeline slide. Holding shift on your keyboard, select the circles and select the line and we're going to move them to the left like this. I'll need to expand the line to the right so you can just select it and holding shift on your keyboard you can make it larger. So now if we go to transitions and click on morph we'll have this super cool effect. Now let's click on the third slide. We're going to add a different transition for this one. So just click on the drop down from transitions and here we'll pick this one called zoom. So now you should have something like this. However, the problem with this timeline is that it's going to get very complicated and very difficult to edit with the more dates that you add. So if you want a simpler version, let's go back to before we started duplicating text boxes, etc. And we're just going to duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And on the second slide, we're going to take the line all the way to the left border. And here we're going to replace the text and we're going to replace the image as well for our next date. 
And here we don't need to duplicate any elements outside of the slide. We just have to go to transitions and here we're not gonna use morph, we're gonna use push. And from the effect options, we're gonna select from right. So now you should have something like this, which is not as cinematic as the previous example, but it's way easier to edit and to continue adding dates. So there you go, guys. You can get these slides from my website. I'll leave the link in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for 1 million subscribers. That's absolutely insane. I can't believe that. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you on my next video.